All right. Um, oh, that, that was... Oh, my God. That was amazing. Oh, my God. All right. I think that should be Insane Demon. I don't think it really... I think Heart Demon... I guess Toe 4 could be... I guess Heart Demon could be accurate for this level, but I think it should be Insane Demon. It's actually very difficult. Like, honestly. It's actually hard. I think it's a hard level. Like, like... Oh, man. Alright, so, yeah, I, I wanted to, like, allow myself some time to play this level, so I started to work on this uh, when I, after I beat Toe 4 by Darwin, and then, uh, yeah, I just decided to take two days off without playing any other levels just to beat this level, because as far as my impression went, it was pretty hard. Like, I did it in practice mode a few times. The gameplay was not... It was not easy to deal with. I'll just tell you that. I used to play this on my old phone as well. Before, you know, I took my long break from YouTube. And this level lagged a heck of a lot for me. So now I'm playing this on my new phone. And I'm so glad I beat this. This is by far one of my favorite levels. It's hard, it's difficult, it looks great, it's challenging, great song, epic gameplay. Oh my god, okay, let's count up the attempts. 933. Alright, and I have a lot of copies here, I'm sorry about that, but bear with me. 98. 39. 240. 102. 48. 58, 84, 90, 109. As you can see, not a lot of attempts on each copy. That's because, um, you know, there are so many of them. So, 125, 188, 306, and 129. Alright, so I'll explain. Uh, number one is the first swing cockpit part. You know how uh, Manix was like trying to perfect the type of swing copter game mode? Basically, when I say swing copter, I don't mean literal swing, co swing copter. It's the, it's basically the drop at the start of the level where you have this like sort of 2.2 gimmick uh, design that you're holding a bunch of invisible dash orbs. Okay, two, uh, copy two is the, the first spider part, which wasn't that bad. Copy three is the memory ball part, which took some using like some getting used to but it wasn't that bad copy four is the ship part with the coin pieces that where you get the first coin copy five is the cube part with a bunch of orbs and maneuvering around uh copy six i don't remember what that was let me try to think oh sorry um Oh, I think copy six was the jigsaw ball part, where, like, after that you get the second coin, if you can get the sequence right. Number seven is the slow cube part. Number eight is the ship part. Number nine is a UFO part. Number ten and eleven, these are accidental copies, but they're both basically the segue into the next 2.2, like, swing copter part that's much faster. It's in quadruple speed. Copy 12 is the ship part, and copy 13 is the mini way part at the very end of the level. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm so happy to have that done. That feels so good. Like, I know it's not Insane Demon, but it honestly feels better than being... That literally feels better... That feels like how it was when I beat Theory of Zoanon. It just felt so good, honestly. Like, it feels better than even beating, like... I don't know, uh... I don't know, like, Theory of Intercepts, or, uh, 10, even, or Puzzle Trials. <laughs> this, I don't know, it's something about this level, just so, I feel so satisfied now that I've beaten this. It wasn't that bad, as I, I mean, it was still very hard, though. 
that's that's all I can say. So, my thoughts on this level, like, it's hard, it's challenging, and it takes some patience to get used to. When you're at least at my level of skill, that is. But yeah, that is Toe 4 by Manix. I'm so happy to have that done. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon.